Hi guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time. Story time! Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment to my page. Here we go! Hi guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time. Today I will be reading to you guys a Disney's Animal Stories collection. Another story out of this collection book. All right, so the next book we'll be, we will be reading is The Jungle Book, The Bare Necessities. All right, guys, let's get into this. The Jungle Book, The Bare Necessities. Deep in the jungle, there was a man cub crying in the tall grasses when Bakira, the panther, found him. He brought the boy to a wolf den. The mother wolf willingly took in the baby, Mowgli, and raised him with her cubs. However, when Shere Khan, the tiger, returned to that part of the jungle, Mowgli was not safe anymore. The wolves decided that he must return to the man village. Bakira arrived to take Mowgli where he belonged. The boy climbed onto his back, ready for adventure. They ran all day. Shouldn't we turn back now? The boy asked sleepily, but Bakira shook his head. We're not going back this time, the panther told him. Mowgli wanted to stay in the jungle. I can take care of myself, he insisted. Bakira laughed. You wouldn't last one day, he said as he pushed Mowgli up a tree to sleep. Kai, the snake, was watching them while Bakira dozed. Kai looked into Mowgli's eyes, hypnotizing him. Then as he wrapped his coils around his young victim, Bakira opened his eyes. Kai! roared Bakira, and the loud noise roused Mowgli. Kai was not happy. You just made a very big mistake, hits the snake. But Mowgli pushed his coils off the branch before he could hurt Bakira. Thump! 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 The rest of Kai's long body followed the coils to the ground. The next morning, Bakira was ready to continue the journey, but Mowgli was stubborn. He held on to a tree trunk and wouldn't let go. The panther tried to pull him, but Mowgli kicked with him with his feet until Bakira fell into the water. I've had it, cried the panther. You're on your own. Mowgli walked away. I don't need anyone, he thought as he sat in the shade. Baloo the bear was dancing nearby and Mowgli didn't want company. Nearby, but Mowgli didn't want company. He even punched the bear when he came too close. Pitiful, pitiful, said Baloo when he taught Mowgli to fight and growl like a bear. The boy smiled at his new friend. You're going to make one swell bear, promised Baloo. But the man cub liked being a bear. They scratched their backs on trees and looked for food. Baloo sang as he tossed Mowgli a melon. Mowgli even floated down the river on Baloo's belly. Suddenly, mo monkeys grabbed Mowgli. Laughing in the trees, they tossed him back and forth. Baloo tried to catch him, but the monkeys were fast. Put me down! yelled Mowgli, but they carried him away to their king. Baloo didn't know what to do. Help, Bakira! Help! The stunned bear shouted. At the ancient ruins, the Origuitan King Louis wanted to make a deal with Mowgli. If Mowgli taught Louis how to make fire, then King Louis would keep Mowgli in the jungle. But I don't know how to make fire, said the boy. King Louis didn't believe him. He sang and danced around Mowgli, trying to convince the boy to confide in him. When Bakira and Baloo arrived at the ruins, they saw Mowgli dancing with the monkeys. Bakira told Baloo to create a disturbance, and then the panther would rescue the man cub. Baloo dressed up like a large female monkey. He danced with the monkeys and settled up to the king, Louis. But his disgust, his disguise fell off. The monkeys weren't about to let Mowgli go without a fight. Soon, however, the ruins crashed down and Baloo had deposited Mowgli safely with Bakira. Later, as Mowgli lay sleeping, Bakira convinced Baloo that the man cub wasn't safe in the jungle, especially with Shere Khan waiting to pounce on him at any moment. 
Baloo knew that Bakira was right, but he hated to see his young friend go. The next morning, Baloo and M M Mowgli were deep in the jungle, heading toward the man village. Mowgli wondered where they were going. Baloo gulped. I need to take you to the man village. It's where you belong, he tried to explain. Mowgli was angry. You said we were partners, he yelled, running away. Lost and alone, the boy encountered Kai again. You must trust me in order to stay in the jungle, hissed the snake. But Mowgli didn't trust anyone anymore. He found a quiet place to sit and cry. Shere Khan appeared. I'm not afraid of you, Mowgli declared. He picked up a stick prepared to fight, but he didn't realize how fierce Shere Khan was. Suddenly, the tiger lunged at him with sharp claws and teeth. No! cried Baloo, running to his rescue. He grabbed Shere Khan's tail and stopped the big tiger in midair. Lightning streaked across the sky, causing a fire nearby. Mowgli picked up a burning branch and tied it to Shere Khan's tail. The mighty tiger ran for his life. Baloo was lying still on the ground and Mowgli tried to wake him up. When Bakira strolled into the clearing, Mowgli looked to him for help. But Bakira feared that Baloo was dead and he told Mowgli that he must be brave like Baloo. Oh, Baloo, sobbed Mowgli. I'm all right, little britches, called Baloo. I was just taking five, you know, playing it cool. <laughs> the two embraced happily. Then Mowgli heard a strange voice singing. Climbing a tree for a better look, he saw a girl. She was beautiful. He had never seen another man cub before. Baloo and Bakira watched him follow the girl. They could see that he was happy. Let him go, urged Bakira, and Baloo knew it was the right thing to do. But I still think he would have made a great bear, he said. <laughs> All right, guys, that was the Jungle Book, The Bare Necessities. All right, guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Storytime. Please don't forget to like, subscribe to my page, comment, share. All right, guys, bye.